this wonderful morning. This is Focal Point, uh, where we discuss political issues and other issues uh, that pertain to our to Ibe State and Nigeria in, in general. This morning, or this wonderful day, I have with me in the studio an engineer, a doctor. We have a political uh, exposed individual all the way in, in, in Arochuku and in Ibe State in general. I have with me this morning Dr. Steve or Choma the former House of Rep uh, um, contestant for our for our Chukwu Hafe Federal Constituency. That is where I have with me this morning, Dr. Steve. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Good ha, morning. How's it been? Well, thank God. All is well. Yeah, you're welcome, Dr. Steve. Dr. Steve, because of our viewers, we want our viewers we want to know you more. Like, can you um, give us more detail about who Dr. Steve Ochoma is? Okay, uh, engineer Dr. Steve Ochoma uh, was born in our, uh, actually in Abang. Of um, about uh, during the Civil War to the family of late CSI, Mazi CSI Ochoma, uh, attended primary school at the right time, secondary at uh, Agri Memorial Secondary School, Aruchuku, then to a couple of universities, including uh, Futo. Uh, UST, UNN, and others. Um, Dr. Choma has been in politics carrying his bag for quite a long time. Uh, during the, actually, I started with my uncle, Chief Chris Obadia, um, and then went ahead to support others in so many elections before finally venturing into uh, the field in the last election as the candidate for UPP for Arichuku Hafe Federal House. I'm an engineer by training. I have, I have a PhD in strategic navigation or strategic management. Um, by the grace of God, I have about three, four masters, environmental highway um, and business management. That's a very wonderful one. Before, before I go to my next question, I want to understand what you mean by carrying his bag. You talked about carrying his bag. <laughs> what do you mean by that carrying his bag? Yeah, you know that in politics, you must carry a bag. You must be a fellow. And uh, you have to have a mentor if you want to be a good politician. You have to identify a good politician who will mentor you. And um, one will call, call, talk about... Uh, Karen bag is like the political apprenticeship. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. Okay, let's 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 go into this your qualification. With so much qualification, with about three masters, with a PhD, with all these qualifications, uh, why politics? Yeah, because everything rises and falls on their leadership. And today, before you can assume leadership, be it at the local government, state, or federal level, it has to be through electoral process. And that's where politics comes into play. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in the, in the last election, you contested for the House of Representative position for Arochuko Hafia Federal Constituency. Um, you moved from APGA to UPP. What exactly happened? Can you give people insight into exactly what happened during the last election? You know, it was a funny story, but uh, uh, I've been in APGA for quite a I was in APGA, okay. First of all, I was in PDP up to from 1999 to 2008, 2009 when I joined APCA. From 1999, that means you've been in politics for quite a long time. Yeah. I, I told you we are the people carrying the bags of Chief Chris Obadi, <laughs> <laughs> my uncle. So uh, that's where I learned my tutelage. You know, then um, I decided to contest. First and foremost, 2015. I took active part in supporting a candidate that I identified as a good material for the government. Which is? Um, Dr. S.O.T. Okay, okay. You know, financially, materially, otherwise, because I believe in his capacity to deliver. But in 2019, I decided to enter the ring. Yourself now? Yes. Also supporting that capacity. Okay. I bought from like every other candidate, yes. uh, aspirant, yes. 
We went for screening, mm -hmm. like every other aspirant. And for me, I was cleared. I was told I was cleared. But at the eve of the election of the primary, the Abga primary, precisely about uh, that primary was supposed to be on the 7th of October, on the night of 6th, around 10 p.m. or thereabout, information started uh, featuring out that uh, some people have been disqualified, and I was among. What, 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 what are the basis of disqualification? No reason. Up to today, as I'm sitting here with you, nobody has told me why I was disqualified. Nobody has told me the crime that committed or whatever, nothing. If you are not disqualified, there is no, no, reason, reason, no reason, not, not as if you have one issue or the other, no, no reason. reason. And unfortunately, the people that we are so qualified or screened and cleared were people who came years after I joined Abga. There are people who made lesser contribution to Abga than I did. So, but the party had their reason, but I felt that I should have been informed, I should have been uh, put in the that, know the, yes, the, the, reason. the reason, so that yeah. you will know if something you can contest, yes. or something you cannot contest, and that should be the proper you thing know. to do. So, but that morning we are told everybody should go to the field, that that was qualification was not uh, necessary and all those uh, bullshit. The damage had been done, how do you go back when it has been announced that you are disqualified and your, your supporters have all dispersed? The buses I sent to convert delegates have left, you know. So how how, how do you, you go about how it? Go about it you know? So I felt bitter. I, I, I felt I was angry because uh, I felt that I was not properly treated. I was unfairly treated. Did you feel you were not, you were not also were properly protected by somebody you supported or you are supporting? No, 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 no. I only saw it as a scheme because okay. out of these eight contestants, mm -hmm. I was the one best positioned to get a ticket. It was a delegate election. I was the only one from Arujibu. The rest of them are from the other local government of Africa. So, okay. Okay. if I got 40% of you, my you, local government, I, I had won the election. So, I think it was the tactical decision of disqualifying me. Okay, yeah, another person was from Ab Abam. That's two of us from uh, Arujibu local government against six from Mohafia. But eventually, uh, somebody from Mohafia got a ticket. So and what happened from there? I called the, the person who got a ticket and told him that it wasn't a fair election. It wasn't a fair primary. So he needed to call meeting to... A switch. You know, yeah, as it were, a switch, and then carry your, your co-contestants along. But he never listened to me. He didn't call the meeting. He didn't even bother to. In fact, he was so complacent that I think he felt that he had already won the election. And part of the reason why I went to uh, UPP, UPP was because I believe that injustice should not be allowed or challenged. So it was my only tool of challenging that injustice. Okay, that means you, you moved to UPP out of protest for what happened to you in Abga. Yeah, because it was already late for me to make any meaningful impact in that election. Did you Under, petition? Did you petition that decision? Did yes, you? I did. Okay. Even through a lawyer up to the... Uh, but they, when the party... Uh, Takes a position. When, when the party responded that that was their position, I felt that going to court was not necessary because uh, as a lawyer party man, I felt, okay, well, it has, it has happened, it has happened. So what then happened to UPP? What was the tra tra transaction till at the end of the election? No, I don't, I don't understand. I mean, in UPP, of yeah. course, you ran the election. Yes. What happened during the election? Okay. Um, you know, it was a difficult task because I was the only one running the election in that uh, uh, constituency. No. Okay, we had, we had um, a House of Rep, a House of Assembly member. Sit under UPP. And, and, and a House of Assembly candidate. Sit under UPP. Sit under UPP, yes. But no senatorial candidate, no governorship candidate, no presidential candidate. So you could imagine the enormous work we had to uh, do. do. And then I would say that the, the structure, the party structure that I met uh, wasn't really what I had anticipated. That's in the UPP. In the UPP, yeah. I had anticipated a much robust structure, structure but than what I met. I, uh, in fact, I had to, I had to, I said, to wear in so many words, start building from the scratch. That cost a lot of time, a lot of money, 
in a lot of, a lot of distraction in election period. Okay, let's move to another issue that's actually germane also. After the election, a lot of people went to court against the um, uh, the, the uh, Honorable Ukonkole, who is now occupying that particular position. I, I remember the Abga guy went to court. Um, uh, I think I think that's the person that went to court. But you, you didn't go to court. D didn't you see any manipulation in the election? Or didn't you see any malfeasance that would um, urge you to go to court for the last election, the last um, 2019 election? Going to court, those who got it, those who went to court, how did it end? You know, having been in politics long enough, I know when to go to court and when not to go to court. I would have gone to court to challenge the, my disqualification in Africa, but I let it go. I would have also have gone to court because um, I have on record a lot of things that are not nice to speak on air. But uh, after looking at the scenario, I also felt that some of the people who rigged the election against me, in, my, in, in some of the wards that I was privileged to uh, visit that day, I saw physically people, my own relatives, rigging the election against me. <laughs> I'm telling you, because of the party line. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't take that to the court. Okay. 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 Yes. Uh, today we are speaking with um, uh, Dr. Steve Ochoma, engineer. We are looking at his political track record, how he has been um, last election, and his political um, uh, achievements. So we are still on that show, um, the focal point, still with Dr. Ochoma, and we are still moving forward with this discussion. Yes, doctor. Let's move to another very important um, uh, issue. At the moment now, you run election under UPP. Uh, you were in Abga before you ran election under UPP. Most of your, of your lieutenants, your, your comrades, your colleagues who were in Abga with you, who were in UPP with you, most of them have started moving. And most, the largest extent, have moved where, with, your, with, with the, with the um, gubernatorial candidate you supported, Alex Oti, to APC. Where are you at the moment? Are you still in Abga? Are you in UPP? Have you moved to APC? Or is there another destination that we don't know about at the moment? Um. I want to put on record that uh, in the last election, I had coordinators in all the wards. All. I had coordinators in both LGLs. So, um, yeah, I, some people moved over from Abga to UPP with me. Mm -hmm. A lot. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of them too have moved to not just APC, some have moved also to uh, PDP. Okay. And a couple that, that called me prior to this time that uh, they want to move because it, 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 it looked as if I wasn't prepared to move then mm -hmm. because I was still consulting. You know, so some of them moved ahead to PDP, some to APC. Uh, it took me time to consult and it took me time to come to a conclusion that um, though P uh, UPP from the national level collapsed into APC mm -hmm. and the APGA at the state level, at the state also, permit me to use the, this word, the re -ABGA, because I want to put on record, the, the re APGA is the LSOT's faction because there was a faction. The LSOT's faction was the real APGA. When we went for Real Abga. By that word, that, yeah, that word is, 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 you know, is when, contestable. When you say, somebody can say we are the owners of a party, we, this, are, this is our party, you know, these people. But when you talk about those on ground, it's the LS Otis faction. And what you describe as real Abga. Yes. I mean, in other states. In other states. There were eight of us that contested, for instance, the Federal House that bought the form 2.5 million. For anybody to bring that 2.5 million to go and buy, form. It means that you're serious. Out of the eight of us, seven aligned with LX. Only one aligned with somebody else. Well, that, that is to say that the bulk of the... I mean, in one, in one constituency, federal constituency, and when you talk about the whole idea, I mean it was something else. Yes. So let's move forward. So, um, now, all those have moved to APC. But I don't believe in Bangwagon. Okay. 
effect of Van Wagon movement. I believe that every politician, everybody should array the scenarios, the, play, the, the unfolding scenarios, and then know what and which process or which plan or which direction he or she wants to go serves you better. Best. And that's what I have decided to do, and that's what I've done. I've decided to go to PDP and not APC. Decided to go to PDP. Yes. Go back to PDP. Let me use okay. the word. Okay. You said go to back to PDP. Yes. But obviously, you say from 1999 you were yes, in PDP to 2009. Yes. So, so now, now you are moving. Why? Where most of your colleagues are moving to APC, you have decided to move to PDP. What's your reason for moving to PDP? If I may ask. Um. You know, uh, people, it's unfortunate that our people look at parties with uh, a lot of, I, I don't know how to put it, you know, but the way we look at parties is not the right way to look at parties. If you move to one party, your friends and your associates in another party now tend to see you as an enemy. No. And you also know that there is no clear cut ideological difference between the parties. In party A, you have good people, if we use that word good, or you have people who are competent and you have people who are incompetent. In party B, the same thing applies. So it's for you as an individual to know where you want to narrow to. Yeah, it's like a house. You, you want to move into a house. You should know the one that will protect you more. So for me, it's the party that gives you protection and the party that will be fair to you. Because without fairness, you can't really get anything. So you are saying that if you believe that in the PDP, you will find fairness? Yes, to, yes, I believe that. Having been in PDP, having gone out of PDP and back. And have, that means you have tested PDP? Yes. You've tested all, um, yes, another party? Yes. I, think, I think that PDP, PDP will be more fair to me and more protective than any other party. Yes. Now, when it now comes to supporting people from any position of it, now it's a matter of individuals, not party. But you cannot be in PDP no, 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 and no, support that's, another that's, person in another party. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, in PDP, for instance, mm -hmm. I'm a lawyer party man. Mm -hmm. In PDP, I must support somebody. I must work with somebody. I must align with somebody. You understand? And people will also align with me and support me. Oh, sure, sure. Fine. So, in party A, you see good people to support. In party B, you see good people to support. So, I believe that in PDP, there are good people that I can support. You can support. There are people, because my vision is a, good, a better idea and egalitarian idea. An idea where development will not be seen as as a, as a gift, but as a necessity. So, and I can tell you that I have identified people in PDP that I can work for and I can work with. Okay, let, let me ask this this, this um, a, a direct question to you now. You you obviously told us now that you supported a particular candidate in 2015 and in the last election. Yeah. That is to say that. Dr. Alex Soti is not going to get your support again if he intends to run for election in 2023. Well, Dr. Alex Soti is uh, in APC and PDP now. That means no more support? Yeah, of as course. far as the party line is concerned. Concern. Concern. Yes. Uh, but then, uh, when you're a candidate of a party, and when you're not the, you're an aspirant, they're not the same. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is that whoever is a party, uh, candidate for PDP is the person I will support. Okay. Okay, then let, let's, let's move into another um, um, another interesting issue. Of course, you contested for the House of Representative position for Arochuko Hafia Federal Constituency in the 2019 election. And then uh, we have another election coming close by in 2023. Obviously, it seems as if the, uh, the, the environment is really getting charged up for that same election, though it's about two years or two plus away. Do you have an ambition for 2023 now that you are moving to PDP? Um, yeah, I have ambition. 
<laughs> a young uh, enterprising man like me wouldn't be uh, without ambition. Uh, if you ask me, I have ambition to be president someday. Yes, that's it. I have ambition to be governor someday. But ambition is not enough. It's getting, being at the right time, the, 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 right, the right place, place at the right time. Having people see you as a candidate to support for whatever position. But as I sit here, and I can't tell you I'm interested in, uh, in this or in that or in that, no. There are a lot of uh, options, and they're all open. It could be elective, it could be appointive, it could be anything. But first and foremost, you need to be a party man first. And have your party members see you as being capable of any office. And when they choose you for that office, uh, to represent them, or to go and contest on their platform in that office, that's when you begin to talk. So it's not really ambition that is the thing. For me, yeah, I have ambition, but that ambition uh, is not the driving force here. The driving force is a better idea. And I can assure you that the person I will support, at least I know that I'm not running for governor. I won't be running for governor. But the person I will support for governor will be the next governor. Yes, the person, um, um, Dr. Um, Steve Pachoma, is going to support, as he said, is going to be the next governor of Abia State. But I want to ask him one very important question, which most people have been asking. Uh, people have been wor are worried that so many professionals who have great skills, great qualification, who should have stayed in the professional angle and tried to build their, their career up to a high standard and add value to the state and to Nigeria are vying into politics. And that's the same question I asked you before. Why politics with all the credentials, with all the capacity, with all the intellectual um, um, depth you have built over time? Why politics? Because without politics in a democratic setting, without politics, there can be governors. There can be leadership. And everything, like I said before, rises and falls under leadership. If you have incompetent people at the helm of affairs, it will rub up on you. Their decisions, their policies will rub up on you. So it's hard time people with capacity, people with credibility, people with um, sincerity of purpose you know there's something about leadership that if you're not a servant you can't be a good leader so it's hard time people who, who have the right mindset for governance go into politics okay it's high time the people with right mindset uh, for governance go into politics as we're trying to round up this our discussion as i just have more extra two questions to ask um, dr choma and one of them is doctor you have said it openly now that you want to move to pdp can you tell pdp people what you are bringing over to pdp what are you bringing into pdp i'm bringing experience i'm bringing a structure that my little structure that I've built over time, and uh, I'm bringing integrity, loyalty, party loyalty. I've always been a loyal person. If I'm with you, I'm with you. If I'm not with you, I'm not with you. I'm bringing capacity, be it uh, intellectual capacity for, for political discourse. Um, and then I'm also making myself available to serve the party. Because you, you can't just say you're going into the party to be a leader, you have to be a servant. I'm going into PDP first and foremost to be a servant. To serve the party. Okay, we've heard um, Dr. Um, Steve Ochoma, what he's bringing into the party, People's Democratic Party in Abia State. Um, uh, specifically, he's from Arochuku local government area, Atani um, in, in Arochuku, and today we are discussing with him. On a final note, um, on a final note, Doc, uh, what's your timeline? When are you officially moving in? Uh, um, we are looking at the end of this month, end of October. But the date is still uncertain. Okay. Uh, that will make known soon. Okay. But uh, 
end of the month or first week in November. Okay. That's when the official declaration will be at uh, Arichiku and uh, also at the party secretariat in Omaya. Okay. Thank you very much, Doctor. On your, on your, 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 your final parting um, words for the people of Arochuku and um, Abia State um, politicians, what's the final parting word? My parting word is um, the last election was our, our first acting, and it was impressive. Lessons were learned, mistakes were made. The lessons learned will be useful and helpful to us. The mistakes made will not be repeated. The areas of strength will be reinforced. And uh, coming to a bigger party, coming to a big umbrella, and the umbrella, as we all know in PDP, is big enough to accommodate everybody. So, uh, our good people. I've been in PDP, mainly PDP because PDP uh, have actually been in, uh, in control in attitude for a very long time. I will continue to be in control. Attitude people, as far as I'm concerned, are better off in PDP than elsewhere. Therefore, I'll ask them to expect better days ahead and to all support PDP. Yes, we want to thank you so much for um, joining us on this show this morning, Focal Point, where we had a, a tete a tete discussion with um, a, a former House of Representative candidate um, for UPP in uh, uh, Arochuko Hafe Federal constituency, who has informed us this, this hour that he's formally moving into the People's Democratic Party anytime soon in this month, October 2020, and which will be bringing to you live and direct how the event went as at when it, it as at when it will hold. I, 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 of course, you know this program is always live and enjoying. My name is Remenze Menkerebu, and I thank um, Dr. Steve Ochama for coming. My pleasure. Thank you so much for coming. My pleasure. Thank you, and God bless you. Have a wonderful day.